Good morning and welcome to Peace Out, where we're all trying to figure out together how to peace out, right? That's, that's simple. It sounds simple, but it's not as simple as it sounds. And yet it is simple. All we have to do is ask for peace, walk in peace, accept it. We don't have to ask, just accept it. In fact, that's kind of what we're going to talk about today, just a little bit. I was kind of praying about a whole bunch of stuff this morning and laying some things out there before God. And I was going, oh man, Lord, I need some help with this and I need some help with that and I need wisdom to know how to handle this and and help me with this area and that area and that's one of one just one of the things that I love about God is I don't have any limitations on what I can ask him I can ask him about anything I can I can pray about anything he doesn't have this list of things you can ask for and things you cannot ask for right he doesn't have he doesn't he doesn't say oh I don't I don't take care of finances you know or or you messed up your finances, you go figure it out, <laughs> right? Don't bring that to me today. No, there's nothing off. There's nothing off limits when it comes to praying. There's nothing off limits when it comes to asking God for wisdom and for help and for strength and for all these things that we need just to make it through a day or just to make it through the week, just to make it through whatever we're going through, right? Because we all go through stuff, you know, and, but he, he didn't, he's totally accessible to us. 24-7, wake up in the middle of the night with something on your heart. Lord, I don't know what to do with this. And sometimes that, while you're sleeping, the answer will come. You wake up with the answer. Sometimes it comes faster than that. Sometimes it comes slower than that. Sometimes it's more difficult than that. Sometimes it's easier than that, right? But there's nothing off limits. We can bring God everything. Even when we're mad, God, I don't like this. Ah, this person did this to me. And what am I supposed to do about that? And I have even taken my anger towards God to him and going, I'm just so mad at you, God. Why did you let this happen? Why didn't you tell me this? Or, or that? But you know what? When I express that anger and get it out there, first off, he's got big shoulders. He can handle it. And he just waits till I get through ranting. And then he gives me, then his piece is right there. <laughs> I find it again. There it is right there, right? And so he, he so, but you can bring anything to him, whether you're upset about something or, or somebody hurts your feelings or or anything put there's nothing there's nothing anywhere that says don't bring that to me I don't do finances I don't do relationships I don't do there's nothing God doesn't do he wants to be part of our day all day long every single day right and so I was praying things back to the point I was praying about several things this morning and laying several things out there and going okay Lord I don't know what's about this I don't know what's about this (laughs) I'm lost here you know, just help me. And so I was looking through scriptures and I was praying for a friend who is having some physical problems. I was praying for her. I was like, I only need some answers. I just need some answers. And I don't care what religion thinks. I don't care what doctrine says. I just want to know what you say, God. I want to know what your promises are. And so I started looking at a few scriptures as I'd finished praying for my friend and started looking at a few scriptures, and I ended up in Psalm 29, which is one of my one of my many favorite psalms, of course. And the last verse says this. It says, The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. And I'm like, peace is from Genesis to Revelation in the Bible. He gives us peace. We have peace with God. We have peace in our hearts. We have the Prince of Peace who walks with us, the Spirit of Truth and Peace who lives inside of us. We, he, he just gives us His peace. It's His gift. It's, it's just free. It's just like, here you go. You want some peace? He gives us peace. He blesses us. And I, I thought, well, He gives us strength. You know, we talk about Isaiah, what is it, 40, 39? I think that's it, or 39, 40. <laughs> it's somewhere in Isaiah you know, where it talks about we, He gives strength to those who are weary. And I'm like, wow. He doesn't just give strength to those who already have strength. But when we get weary, he, he doesn't say, well, you dummy, why'd you get tired? You know you're doing too much. Or, you know you need to change your schedule. Or, you know you need to do this or you need to do that. No, he just says, oh, here's some strength. Here's my strength. And we have his strength to run the race on. We're not in this by ourselves. We're not in it without God. He didn't just put us here and walk away and go, I don't know what y'all going to do. Right? He, he gives us strength. He, as a matter of fact, the verse right before this one, uh, which conveniently is verse 10 instead of 11, all right? It says, the Lord rules over the floodwaters. The Lord reigns as king forever. And we talk about Isaiah 43 a lot about when I go through the waters, 
they're not going to overcome me because he's got me, because I've got his strength, because I've got his peace, right? And so it's like he's there in the floodwaters with us. He doesn't say, I'll wait for you on the other side or I'll, uh, I'll be in tomorrow for you. I don't know how you're going to get through today, but I'll be there in the morning. He's with us in the floodwaters. He's with us in the difficult parts of life, but he's also with us in the good parts of life. The things that are going great, the things that are going good, the things that are going smoothly, the things that we're enjoying, all three of them, right? <laughs> but he's with us. He's with us and he is still the Lord, even if we're going through a flood. He is still our God, even if we're going through a fire. He's still our God if we find ourselves in a lion's den or facing a giant or any of the other stories that we see in the, in the of our, all our Bible heroes and the things they faced, even their mess-ups like Samson and Jonah, God didn't th- throw them away. That's what gives me that strength and peace to know he's not going to throw me away, to know he's not going to say, eh, come back tomorrow, I'm not in the mood for you today. Or, eh, I don't have any more peace today, but you know, if you'll hang around, it'll refresh in about 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, it's buffering. There's, not, you know, there's none of that. He's with us in it, whatever it looks like for you. And in the middle of that, he gives us strength and he blesses us. That's like laying it, just a little something extra. He gives us strength to make it through the journey, through the battle, through the struggle, through the, through the good times, through the bad times, through whatever we're going. And he blesses us with his peace. I love that. And that's why I can peace out today. Peace out. Have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. No, I'll see you Monday morning, not tomorrow. See you Monday.